Welcome to lab two in which we're going to look at how to create a table and then how to populate a table in Dynamics Nav, Dynamics Navision 2013 edition. We're using data from the sample uh, database Cronus International Limited uh, provided by Microsoft and is used in the Microsoft courses covering Dynamics Navision. Here we're creating in the table designer the fields that we're going to use for the table and setting their appropriate data types and where their text or code setting a maximum character length. The purpose of the table will be to save a series of courses on offer. We'll use these courses and select them later on. In the later lab, we'll actually use a field, a level of difficulty field, um, an integer between 1 and 10. And we'll use that to determine the type of course and give recommendations to our customers. But that's one for later on. For now, we're just simply creating our fields to create the table. Now you'll notice that um, field 40 is an option. An option string requires that you've put in the option data, the list, before you save and close the table. So we'll need to do that first. Okay, so that's all of them. And we'll go to our properties inspector, select our option string. And then in here, simply add in the data you want to appear within the list. Please don't use spaces after the commas. Try to um, neaten up and keep the characters together. Um, the comma is the delimiter for an option string. We're saving this as a custom table, so within the 90,000 range. And now if we click on the ID and type, you'll see that I jump straight to my customized table. How do I know it was customized? The modified um, field uh, column was ticked. This shows that it's actually one that we've created ourselves. So now for a few minutes I'm going to sit back and relax as I type in the data. If you're wondering why or how come I'm such a fast typer, it is a bit of a con. I am copying and pasting the data in um, from a pre-formatted list and unfortunately the paste uh, facility I use to paste into Dynamics Nav um, is a little bit flaky. It parses the characters and doesn't like spaces so on long text strings I will have to go back and drop the spaces back in as I have done just there. That's not an issue of Dynamics Nav itself, just the third-party software I'm using to be able to paste the information in very quickly. Just neatening up the tables, this is the front end of Nav. You can see the three peaks at the bottom in the taskbar, and that indicates that we're actually looking at the front end, um, the custom-facing, end-user-facing, um, side of Dynamics A Vision, uh, we're not in the custom designer. So in here we're adding data directly to the table that we've just created.
oops, I pressed a 3 rather than an E there. Let me just correct that. There we go. Now you'll notice here, I've actually put the wrong code in for the Business Intelligence course. And because it's already there, um, NAV will ask me to rename the record. It's already saved this particular record in the table in its database at the back end. Um, we've had to adjust the ID and it just needs confirmation of that first. Just finishing off here and that's how to enter data into a nav table. Thank you for watching.